Here is an EO Alive LeGrand story. National Rural Health Day is celebrated on November 21st this year. Northeast Oregon Health Education Center is drawing attention to this important recognition of rural health care services. I'm Meredith Layer. I'm the Executive Director for Northeast Oregon Area Health Education Center. And um, I'm here today to talk about our role in celebrating National Rural Health Day and rural health in general. Um, Northeast Oregon AHEC has been around for nearly three decades and we're here to help grow our own healthcare workforce for, for Eastern Oregon and uh, across the state of Oregon. neo AHEC was established um, about 30 years ago and we were really fortunate to have this incredible grassroots effort from physicians uh, across Northeast Oregon that really felt like um, we were on the precipice of a really significant shortage in healthcare providers. And so along with Northeast Oregon AHEC, which was the first AHEC in Oregon um, being developed, the first rural health bill was also um, initiated uh, throughout the state of Oregon. So that really gave neo AHEC the power to begin bringing learners and residents to Eastern Oregon to experience what a rural community would look like with the hopes that they would stay here and practice here um, because they just they fell in love with this amazing community that we're surrounded by. National Rural Health Day is uh, supported by um, the national state offices of rural health um, to really celebrate the power of rural our challenges that are unique to rural and our successes that are unique to rural in our can-do spirit, our ability to, to really take anything on and make the best of situations with, with more limited resources, with more limited uh, uh, people. And so it's really just to celebrate um, the amazing care that an investment that um, that happens in rural health care. The most common thing that I hear from providers who choose to practice in rural communities is that they really appreciate the, the quality of life that they they can have here. Um, it's a it's a beautiful valley. It's a beautiful region that we live in. There are so many opportunities to explore and um, and have just a little bit slower paced way of life. But also, and I think most importantly, providers really feel that sense of community and investment in caring for the health and well-being of the place that they call home. Residents in a rural healthcare area, I think, really face a lot of challenges with um, you know, seeking health care. The, the limitations on how many patients rural health care providers can see um, means that sometimes our patients have really long wait times to get into their primary care doctors. Uh, I think we overutilize the ER, in, especially in rural health care. I mean, I think that's a problem nationwide, but I think in the, in the rural arena, it's especially a problem because sometimes it takes so long to get to their primary care doctors that they just end up going to the ER or to the walk-in clinic to try to manage their primary health care needs. Um, additionally, I think it's very challenging for them to get into uh, like a specialty provider just because we're so limited in what specialties we can um, you know, offer our patients in a, in a rural area. So we're lucky, I think, here in Union County to have such a great array of specialists, but that's not the case in a lot of places. So receiving an education locally um, helps alleviate some of that because these people are already invested in this community. Um, myself, I'm invested in, in Union County. I'm invested in um, Eastern Oregon. And so this is where I'm gonna stay. And so having an education program right here locally um, brings more providers here because they're already here. The knowledge is already here. Um, we just need to give the education. So since being a, a nurse in um, Eastern Oregon, some experiences I've had that demonstrate the uniqueness of rural. I think the, I think the biggest one is um, in all the different roles I've been in, um, I find connections between people everywhere. 
Um, you know, these are my neighbors, my friends, these are the people I know. Um, but I always find those connections in the weirdest places. Um, I'll be working at dialysis and talking to one of my patients there and find out I cared for one of their family members on hospice. And I will um, talk to one of my, you know, one of my hospice patients and find out I took care of their loved one at a long-term care facility. Um, and that's something you don't get everywhere. In rural healthcare, I get to know my community as well as I get to know um, my patients. The power of rural means to me that we're taking care of you know, our friends and our neighbors and our kids' friends and our church members and people we bump into at the grocery store and our co-workers. And I think it offers everybody a better quality of care just because you're going to see a provider who knows you, who knows your whole background story, who, you know, knows your kids and knows your parents and you know, it just, I think it makes for a more meaningful encounter with your provider. So I think that's the power of rural. Rural nursing, I think, is um, is kind of amazing. And this is coming from somebody who didn't practice rural nursing for most of her career. I um, practiced in, in a very urban area. And I have found it so interesting and um, satisfying and um, fulfilling to be a rural provider, both as an RN and hopefully as an FNP very soon. Um, I just feel like people are so appreciative of the care that we provide. Um, and, you know, of course there's limitations in what we can do in a rural setting and, and, and what we have to offer. And, but being a nurse in a rural setting is, I think, amazing. I really get a much higher level of fulfillment from serving my patients in this arena than I did in, in a more urban setting. So I mentioned a lot about Union County, but as an FMP student, I've had a lot of clinical experience up in Enterprise at Winding Waters Clinic. And um, they do the power of rural very well up there. And I've had some great experiences taking care of that community too. And really Eastern Oregon is really patient-centered and patient-focused. The people who commit to this area commit fully and wholeheartedly. And I loved getting to see that at Winding Waters in Enterprise and in that community as well. And I feel like I need to plug them because I don't think that I would be as great of a future nurse practitioner if I didn't have that rotation up there.